What? That's newspaper talk. Oh, Kurt, you're not even on the newspaper yet. Yeah, but I will be once they read this, because I totally aced the interview. I demonstrated the perfect blend of calm confidence and streetwise savvy. Plus, I brought muffins. <laughs> Hey, Kurt. Hey. Why aren't you hiding? <laughs> You'd just find me anyway. I thought there was going to be a surprise party. Hmm. It's my birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. How happy could it be? Even my best friend forgot. Ah, who's your best friend? You are. <laughs> oh, uh... No, I remembered your birthday. I, I just got my dates mixed up, but Ryan and I got you something great. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Where is it? Well, we can't give it to you on your birthday. That would completely ruin the surprise. <laughs> well, when am I going to get it? See, you're doing it again. Uh, uh... <laughs> hey, Ma, you remember my birthday, right? Well, of course I did. Happy birthday, honey. Wow, forty dollars. Damn new twenties always stick together. Wow, twenty dollars. <laughs> When I return here from I don't know somewhere And these days will be fine memories Someday Oh, hon, I gotta pick up some double shifts So I need you to watch the baby at night this week You're joking, right? Yeah, I'm joking. <laughs> I forgot for a moment that we're independently wealthy and that I work here 16 hours a day just to keep my calves toned. Denise, I'm playing roller hockey tonight. I'm on the verge of breaking the record for the most goals scored while holding a beer. Ooh. Honor, though, that would bring upon our home. I'd really rather have grocery money. Fine. When Connor gets a little bit older, remember to tell him about the night Daddy died inside. <laughs> Dad, you're back early. What happened? Well, I don't want to talk about it. Okay. We're hauling in the first big load of fish we have caught in months. The winch motor seizes up, the boom snaps, and we lost the entire catch. But what are you going to do? That is the thrill and romance of the fickle lady that is the sea. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Give me a beer. Don't you think it's a little early? Yeah, you're right. Make it a Bloody Mary. <laughs> I've got to do something about my dad. Every day he goes out fishing, doesn't come back with a full catch, and then he gets all frustrated and drinks. Yeah, I know just what you're going through. Guy used to come in here a couple years ago. Name was Waldo. He'd go out fishing, and every day it was a different disaster. He got his nets fouled. He got his eye put out. Finally, he gave it up and became an artist. Oh, that's nice. Nah, that didn't work either. No depth perception. <laughs> open up here one morning and I find him hanging from a pipe in the men's room. Marge, how's that supposed to make me feel better? Well, wait, I'm not to the good part yet. <laughs> when I cut him down, I found 400 bucks in his shorts. <laughs> now, you keep this to yourself because he's still got family in town. Uh, but your father couldn't convince the county to pay him for shouting at dogs. Great idea for something else you could do. Oh, yeah, and it's a really bad idea to bring it up to him. Your father is proud to be a fisherman. But it's a great idea. It doesn't matter. It's but, a bad idea. But, but bad. The damn which one is going to take a week to come in. I can't fish without it. Thank God I got a hobby. <laughs> you know, Dad, there are other things you could do with a boat besides fish. I'm not running drugs. <laughs> Drugs, whale watching cruises. No, Captain Joe said it's the easiest money he's ever made. Captain Joe is an idiot. He walks around wearing a woman's blouse and stretch pants. Yeah, that's a pirate costume. All I know is he comes to the next union meeting dressed like that, they're gonna find him floating in the bay. 
You never listen to my ideas. Honey, I'm a fisherman. That's who I am. <sighs> Thanks for all the help, Mom. Hey, you're on your own with this one. Okay, fine. Well, with Dad off this week, it'll give you guys a chance to hang. You and Dad locked in this house together day after day, night after night. Hey, Mike, come in here. <laughs> now, listen, you didn't give Carrie's idea a fair chance. Let's hear her out. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I checked it all out. All right, you'll make twice what you make now. It's safer than fishing, so your insurance will go way down. There's less wear and tear on the boat, and you can't fish anyway with your winch motor out, so you really got nothing to lose. You think I should do this? Try it once. If you don't like it, you can always stop. All right, I'll try it. Once. You listen to me. You actually listen to me. Go to your room. I don't care. <laughs> you listen to me. You listen to me. Don't you... poke the bear, dear. <laughs> So I talked my dad into trying this whale watching cruise and we're having a practice run tomorrow. I need you guys to come. Sure, okay. we'll come. Cool. I can't. I have my kid tomorrow. Oh, she'll come with us. She'll have a great time. Yeah. Mm. Scott, we're going out for almost a month. I mean, we really should start including her, don't you think? I don't know. Bethany's not real aquatic. She wears a nose clip in the shower. Scott, I know Bethany and I didn't exactly hit it off the first time we met, but that really was your fault. What are you talking about? How is it my fault? Scott, you introduced her to me by saying, isn't she prettier than mommy? <laughs> hey, honey. I got great news. Oh. I'm not working for Mulligan Marine anymore. <gasps> you got a better job? No, but I've taken the first step. I got fired. <laughs> what? No, no, listen, listen. It was meant to be. All right, you be the judge. I'm watching Connor, and I'm changing the oil on the ferry engine when rock and roll hoochie coo comes on the radio. Ryan, what does that have to do with you Are getting you gonna fired? Are you going to have to go, tell the story? Go, go, go. <laughs> hoochie coo, change the oil. You, okay, okay. Then Jimmy starts playing the air solo. So naturally, I pick up on the rhythm. Suddenly, Connor starts waving his arms. He's playing the drums. The kid's a prodigy, honey. Oh, jeez, will you look at that amount of patience? What happened? <laughs> well, in all the excitement, I forgot to refill the engine back up with oil. They started up at blue and I got fired. You see what a great opportunity this is for us? Oh, I mean, I feel so free. Are you insane? We cannot afford you being out of work. No, no, no. See, you're just upset because you're not seeing the big picture here. Yeah, it's because it's being blocked by the big idiot here. <laughs> Look, don't worry, okay? I'm going to find something, all right? And in the meantime, I can watch Connor, which is great, because he's at that stage where he needs a male role model, oh, and but... that'll give you time to relax and attend to your needs. Call me crazy, but I really think you deserve that. Yeah, right. I know, I know. I've given you a lot to process here. You just let it sink in. I got to go, okay? Hey, Ryan, wait up. my escape here, man. You're slowing me down. We gotta get Jesse something for his birthday. Why? Because we're like his best friends. No, we're not. Yeah, see, that's what I thought. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's get on a boat and get going. Oh, come on, Dad. I know it's just a practice run, but try to have a positive attitude about this. Who knows? Maybe it'll be fun. I have sold out to everything I despise. That's the spirit. <laughs> Since the beginning of time, man has gone to sea. Point to sea. <laughs> I got the uh, tickets for Jesse's birthday. Oh, great, great. Jesse, happy birthday, huh? Yeah, happy birthday, brother. Maximum death cage wrestling? I love you guys so much. <laughs> All right. Yeah. How much did that cost? Uh, $35. Oh, really? Good, I'll just go tell Connor he's got to start sucking his meals out of the carpet. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't go with you. I, I got called into work. But Bethany really wanted to go anyway, didn't you, honey? Why don't you just shove me in a sack with a bunch of rocks and throw me off the pier? <laughs> he's got a mother's sense of humor. Scott, you're supposed to be here as a buffer. This is way too much pressure on her. Look, if you get stuck, just talk about music. The blind melon, the cranberries, any of the, the fruit groups. <laughs> if I could have your attention, please. The sea is an unforgiving mistress. So you're going to have to listen up, pay close attention if you have any hope of coming through this alive. <laughs> Now, this goes on by putting this strap here in front. Or in back, where you tie it. What in God's name is this? Jeez. In the event of an actual emergency, 
I would drown. <laughs> oh, man, look at that. The seagulls are facing into the wind. Honey, I, I don't think this would be a good day to go out. Oh, come on, Dad. You're not going to get out of this with some old fisherman's mumbo-jumbo. You see, your problem is, is you don't know how much fun you're going to have. Try to show some enthusiasm. Come on, you guys, let's watch whales! The Nor'easter, or Sou'easter. Well, it's some kind of Easter for sure. <laughs> hey, you guys, I was going to save this for later, but guess you made fudge. <laughs> you guys having a good time? This is my daughter's idea. Well, that's got to be the last one. Couldn't have much left. <laughs> I wasn't so weak. I would kill you with my bare hands. Look, Bethany, I know the trip stinks, okay? But I didn't cause the weather. I know that, and I just don't like you. And that's okay. What is it that you don't like about me? You pretend to be all free and easy when you're just lazy and confused. And you think you're cute when you're really like those girls in my gym class that go underneath the bleach of this empty boy that asks them. <laughs> okay? Way off the starboard bow! I mean the port bow! <laughs> I've never seen a whale this close before. Well, Dad, I don't want to say I was right and you were wrong. No, wait, I do. <laughs> ah! Oh, my God, we hit a whale. Shouldn't it be moving? Uh, it's just sort of floating there. Look! He wants us to rub his tummy! <laughs> Freed Willie for good. <laughs> How does anyone even know about this? Gloucester Fisherman Strikes Whale by Kurt Battaglio? I'm in the paper! Huh? Look, and they like my article so much, they hired me as a reporter. Isn't that great? Why are you holding my arm so tight? <laughs> hey, Mike, maybe you didn't kill the whale. Where it is, it was a suicide. Yeah, we heard he left a really big note. Sick of plankton, filled with blubber, can't go on. <laughs> uh, guys, listen, I know you're just having fun, but, uh, see what my dad's doing? See how he's pushed his drink away and his eyes are starting to shift in and out of focus? Okay, you remember the Incredible Hulk where the mild manner guy turns into the big angry guy? You're starting out with a big angry guy. Hey, Mike, your little girl's defending your honor for you. Ah, uh, I see. Now he's taking off his watch, and uh, that's really the point of no return. I'm... I guess what I'm really trying to say is, can you guys settle your bill now, please? <laughs> Where's Ryan? This is supposed to be my special day. You already missed the parade of villains. He'll be here. Hey, guys. Sorry I'm late. Uh, oh, it's starting. Yeah! Hey, you smell that, Connor? That's beer, violence, booze, and blood. You put them all together, and you got America. So how's it going at home? Uh, you know, Denise, I love her, but she is just fixated on the negative side of unemployment. See, the way I look at it is, I have no job, no prospects, and no direction. My life is pure potential. I'm living the dream. Will you buy me a giant finger? <laughs> Get us some bruise. See that move? That's called the cross neck spine mangle, for obvious reasons. And what you're seeing right there, that's called the aging spike. When done correctly, you can fit two fists in a guy's mouth. Oh, my God, is that real blood? I think that's fake blood. But I believe that's a real ear! Hey, throw it over here! It's my birthday! This is the single greatest night of my life. Happy to do it for you, man. Yeah. You see, women just don't understand this kind of thing. Hey, they're lost. 
When it's over, you want to throw chairs? Hey, not me. I'm a father. I have to act responsible. <laughs> Where's your father? Okay, just remember, every new business venture has a few bumpy spots just right at the beginning. I am stop. What for dinner? <gasps> you got in a fight. No, 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 it wasn't a fight. It was just a spirited debate with eye gouging. <laughs> this is not going to start again. I will not put up with this in my house. I got tired of people sticking it to me. I had to get my dignity back. Oh, and rolling around drunk in the dirt with some guy punching and choking him like some kind of animal did that for you? No, that's why I kicked him in the gutty basket. <laughs> you are not going to be living here and punching people out. Fine, then I won't be living here. I'll sleep in a boat. I guess this would be a bad time to mention Dad's court date. <laughs> I'll put it on the fridge. <sighs> you know, the really frustrating thing is, is the whale watching was a good idea for my dad. I mean, if you strip away the humiliation and the getting thrown in jail and big ugly fight with my mom, you know, what's left is actually pretty solid. Carrie, you have to understand your dad was born to fish. It's in his bones. It's like me and cooking. I was born to be a chef. Don't talk to me, Ryan Callahan. Oh, come on. You're not still mad at me, are you? You took our infant son to a wrestling match. Well, he didn't compete. <laughs> Look, I didn't yell at you when you got fired, and I didn't yell at you when I came home and found Connor dressed entirely in paper towels. <laughs> well, what was I supposed to do? Let him go naked till you got around to doing the laundry? <laughs> you know, if I had been just a little drunker at homecoming, I would have been Mrs. Joey Vitello today. Queen of trash removal. And you know what I'd be doing? Yeah, visiting your husband in prison. In a Mercedes. Bethany asked me to drive her over so she could apologize. Scott, let go of her collar. <laughs> look, Bethany. I'm sorry you don't like me. Okay, I really wish you did, but maybe one day you will. But in the meantime, I want you to realize something, okay? Hating me is not going to make your mom and dad get back together. It's just going to make me feel bad and make your dad feel bad, make you feel bad. But I guess there's nothing I can do about that. So hate me as long as you need to, and when you're all done, I'll still be here. Beth, you have something to say? My new mommy. What? It's for my new mommy. It's an after-school special, and Pam Dauber said it better. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing here? Well, you wouldn't talk to me, so I stowed away. Hey, Steve, can you leave us alone for a little while? Well, there's only so far I can go. <laughs> if, if it's really personal, I could tread water for a while. You can go in the cabin. Ah. <laughs> Don't be mad at Mom, OK? The whole whale thing was my idea. I just wanted to fix things and make your life easier for you. You can't fix my life, honey. Why are you uh, set on stopping me from fishing all of a sudden? No, well, I don't know. Maybe because this is a dangerous job and boats falling apart and you're getting old and you drink too much. Well, that's no way to talk to your father. The boat is not falling apart. <laughs> I'm worried about you. You know, it's only a matter of time before something really bad happens out here. You're just now starting to worry, honey. This has always been a dangerous job. Well, then why do you do it? Because it puts food on the table and a roof over our heads. I don't know how to do anything else. And I don't want to do anything else. I just want you to be careful. Careful? Honey, you know that statue in town you kids are always screwing around on? You know what it says on there? It's a dedication to the 10,000 who were lost fishing these waters. 10,000? 
thousand people died doing this? Johnny Lazzini was the best fisherman I ever knew. He was careful. Didn't stop a 50-foot wave from smashing his boat to bits and killing it. He died? He told me he moved to Florida. There are no guarantees in life, honey. I just wish I knew for sure that you'd be okay, you know? I got luck, honey. Better than anything out here. If you want to worry about me being taken out by a natural disaster, protect me from your mom. Okay, you can take me back now. Not a chance. We got two days out here. We got to make up for lost time. So, um, get some bait and start hooking. Oh, you're just going to keep me out here out of spite, aren't you? It's good to be captain. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's me. Um, I was, um, I was being a hard head about all this. No, you were right. I'll be home tomorrow. Oh, yeah? <clears throat> and the, uh, silky thing. <laughs> satisfying than a day of honest labor. Out here in the wind and gulls and powers. Shut up. <laughs> you just talked yourself out of a marriage proposal, young lady. 